I'm with Gabriel Talca from the Galilee Experience. Now, Gabriel, what is the Galilee Experience? The Galilee Experience is a business and ministry. First, for the tourist people who is visiting in Israel, the Holy Land. And the second, it's uh, for local uh, people here. And Galilee Experience is a business and ministry. And when was the organization started and what's your mission here? The, the organization started by uh, two couples. So come, they come from the States with a vision to open something here in uh, this area. The first day opened it, uh, one factory here, its uh, name is Galtronics uh, Corporation. And uh, one couple, it's uh, Eric and Terry Murray, they, they have a vision to open something here that can be a possibility to share the gospel here in, in, in Tiberia. And that's why they open the Gal experience here with a vision, with a lot of uh, difficult times. They open it here because of they want to share the gospel. And it can be a, some place that the people from the, from the nations can come here to see of Galilee and find some like a open open door open house and that's why they, they started they started in, in 1989 but uh, they have um, with the court and the local people here they didn't give because of they are believers the messianic they're christians or this kind of things that's why they, uh, they have very problem to get a license to open this kind of place but uh, thanks god after uh, two years of fighting in in, in a court we got uh, the lesson. So really they were pioneering what they're doing here, weren't they? Yeah, it's not fighting, there's more praying. Mm. I think it's a not fight because they go to code with, with all um, the reason that they wanted to open this kind of place. And the code find that uh, they don't have reason to not give them a license. Mm. And that's why uh, it's taking, in the code in Israel is taking this kind of thing. Yeah. Now you have a video production, what is that about? The video production talking about the, the history of uh, Galilee, the 4,000 years history from Abraham to this place, this, this time. And um, it's talking about also the, the, the one guy, he's a part of history. And when you see the, the, the movie, it's, you can see the, this guy, he's a part. He, you cannot take it out because Jew people trying to take out him uh, it's as a past uh, it's a part of history but we cannot do that and we just and this is a way to share the gospel to show how uh, how god has a plan and uh, the prophecy that he, he he's going to come here and the show talking all about that mm. but it's a part of history mm. so the guy of course you're talking about is jesus and he spent a lot of ministry here in the galilee didn't he yeah, yeah. The same couples that I'm talking about, when they come here, they open the ministry of Pniel. Mm -hmm. It's the first ministry in the area. Now the Pniel has uh, 200 people there. After Pniel uh, started uh, uh, Morning Star, uh, and the Morning Star, after that, Eric also started the ministry in his, his house. It's a Kehilat Puriya. And now we have also the one more ministry in, uh, in uh, Kehilat Nahar. It's uh, uh, also the people from Peniel. That means now we have in this area, in our area, four ministries. Mm. And uh, how many visitors do you get here at the Gal Experience? Yearly we're getting here something around 30,000 mm. people. They're coming here and visiting us, not including the, the Israeli guys. Mm. Now do you have Muslims and Jews coming here to watch the film and see about Jesus? More Jewish people. Yeah, some uh, organizations from here, for example, the students, the soldiers, these kind of people, they're coming here as a group and they're showing this, the, the show. Or some Jewish people, when we have a holidays here, and, and they're coming here to, to see the movie. And the response, we got it, it's very good. Do you feel that when they see about Jesus and his life, it's breaking down a barrier and breaking about a wall that's always been there? We're not trying to uh, talk with them after the movie. Mm. Uh, we're just asking how the movie, how they're feeling with the movie. Mm. And the response that we got it, it's, um, it's good. It's showing us about the history. But they're telling, oh, but somebody's there, is not has to be there. That's all. In, in some ways, they don't always expect Jesus being there. Yeah. Even though that's part of the history. <laughs> yes, yeah. yes. They want, to, they want to delete it. So what do you want people to take away after they watch the film? 
see, I, I don't see the people. Uh, we just see, so, uh, see them when they're coming out from the theater. But after that, we don't have some connection with them. Mm. But it's like, a, you know, we're just putting the seed inside mm. and praying for that, that the, the, the Lord start with them something. Mm. Some, some people, when they're not the Orthodox, they come in here and they see the movies. Most of uh, older people, they, when they see in the movie, they, the response is very good. Think, wow, we don't know that. Wow, it's something wonderful. And that response, we we tr- trying to maybe I think maybe uh, one or two people staying here to to talk about the movie. And where are you located here in the t- Tiberius? We are located here in uh, Sea of Galilee. We're sitting on the Sea of Galilee. Mm. The building is um, uh, the name of the building. It's a marina building overlooking the Sea of Galilee. Yeah. And you also have a shop here as well, don't you? Yes, we have a beautiful shop here. All of the the items and and goods what we have it here is uh, made in Israel, mm. and we trying just found something that uh, the people when they coming to Holy Land, they can found something not Chinese or <laughs> or this kind of items, more Israeli uh, Holy Land items. Yeah. And um, is there a big Christian presence here in the Galilee? Here in Galilee, yeah. Yeah, we have uh, uh, something around, uh, in this area, something around 1,000 people that believers, yeah. And why did you come to Israel? Oh, we make Aliyah. Yeah. Uh, our family, my mother is Jew, and my father's side is uh, uh, believers, the Christians. And my father uh, has to become Jew before marry my, with my mother. And this is uh, my grandma, grandfather's, uh, he, he tell my father, if you want to, Marry with my my daughter. You has to come be a Jew, yeah. and then he come to be a Jew and and in in India and they make Aliyah the first Aliyah in seventy seven. After five years, my uh, three years, sorry, uh, my father's go back with my, my mother and my two brothers, and I born there. And we come here in nineteen ninety, make Aliyah, mm. and from there, uh, when I ten years old. Mm. So you grew up in Israel from ten years of age. Yeah, yeah. I grew up here. I make my service here. I make a 10-year service. I started with the uh, border police, and from there uh, I go to um, special police uh, department yeah. and come to be officer. And after 10 years, I just I tell myself, okay, it's enough. have to go to my family, <laughs> and here I am. Was it easy uh, coming from the culture of India to the culture of Israel? For 10 years child, I think it's not so difficult mm-hmm. because he's learning here everything. But if I see my father and my mother, for them, it's, yes, the cultures were different. Mm. They have a difference in the cultures, and for me, it's not. You know, I'm 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 thinking about like I'm hundred percent Israeli. Yeah, yeah. That's all. And what's your prayer for the Galilee experience here in Tiberias? Oh, my prayer is uh, the dry bones will come up. That mm. means all the people here here in uh, Tiberias can see who is the Lord, who is the Messiah of Israeli people. And you have a website for people who'd like to know more about the experience? Yeah, our website's uh, www.thegalilee.com. Okay, Gabriel, thank you very much. Thank you.